This is Hammer Life KJB. We are Kerry, John, and Boris. We recently spent two weeks in the Dumfries and the Galloway region of southwest Scotland. We planned a few camper van stopovers using our phone app Park for Night. We started our tour at the woodland surrounded by nature car park just on the outskirts of Dumfries. We had a cup of tea and took Boris out for a stroll. We decided though it wasn't a place to stop the night. So we headed for the Shore Road camper stop on the south side of Dumfries. Kerry went to look at the do's and don'ts sign on the notice board and a general look around. The notice board said it's free of charge to stay the night, just only give a donation. Later on that night, we witnessed a tidal bore. This isn't the actual footage. It was just like this. Time to make a nice cup of tea. The morning after, we moved a couple of miles down the road to a campus stop at Kellev Rock Castle. The pitch was quite spacious and it was under the trees. The campus stop was totally geared up for camper vans. It had a fresh water tap a chemical toilet and a grey sink water disposal. When I went to get fresh water, I spoke to a guy who had slept the night in his tent. He said that he had a terrible night's sleep due to the crows crying out early that morning. He told me that there is a great walk to the castle and he showed me how to get there. As he seemed a decent guy, I dug out some new fresh earplugs for him. He was very grateful. After a walk round the castle, we got back to the van and celebrated Kerry's birthday. <laughs> then for a birthday treat, I cooked her fajitas for her tea. The morning after, we got up early and got back on the road and headed for the Galloway Forest Park and stayed at a camper stop right next to the Black Lock. 
This location was in the middle of nowhere. After Blacklock, we went back on the road and stayed a couple of nights at a town called the Gatehouse of Fleet. We found a great car park smack bang in the middle of the town centre. We were running low on food supplies, so luckily there was a spa shop. After something to eat and a rest, we had a walk round the town. After staying a couple of nights at the Gatehouse of Fleet, we felt it was time to move on. We travelled a few miles down to a great location called Dune Beach. We parked right next to the beach. It was time to pull ourselves away from the beach location and hit the road. We took the south road back to Dumfries. After about an hour we had a break and parked up in Dundrennan. Dundrennan had an abbey. After a cup of tea 
he took Boris out for a walk and had a look round. The abbey, now a ruin, was a 12th century home to a community of Cistercian monks for 400 years. While we sat down in the park area, a red kite flew over us. enjoying the video uh, just like to end the video talking about uh, this device this uh, device that we used when we went traveling into Scotland uh, what it does basically yeah, you can put it on taps and you can drain the water from the, the taps and put it into a five litre bottle like that uh, what happened a few times when we were in Scotland a place called gatehouse of fleet that we went to we stopped at a car park and uh, the car park had public toilets which was great but you know the, t the type of toilets they have where it's got like a like a dispenser it's got like the water sprayer you've got your soap and then you've got your um like your dryer you put your hand under it but th th that is impossible to get water out of if you if you're only dry in your bath so what this does, basically, I could get that nozzle bit up into the top, right at the top where the, the sprayer was, and I could put that right up into the top, and then just put that on the floor, and then just drain some water out like that from that that sprayer into the bottle. Um, I mean, I mean, basically, it won't won't get you, uh, it won't. You won't be able to fill up your, your van with it, with water, but what it could do is just get you out of a few sticky situations because we were, one, we were running really dry on water and um, we got about, I got about 10 litres, um, which got us by, you know, washing the pots, uh, washing hands, you know, uh, just washing a few things, uh, stop the, the tank running absolutely dry. So it really like got us out of a few sticky situations there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll, I'll be making another one in a couple of weeks. Um, and we're just chilling out in a minute, just doing a bit of gardening. Um, Boris, I'll quit in Boris as well, uh, getting nice and short for the next travels. Also, what I do, what I'll do in the uh, the bottom of the description, I'll put a, a link to where you can buy this from if you want it.